This week, Mark Meadows, Donald Trump's former chief of staff who was indicted with Donald Trump in Georgia, along with, of course, 17 other individuals. Mark Meadows filed a motion begging the court to please save me, protect me, is what the motion actually says, protect me from having to come and turn myself in by Friday at noon because, gee whiz, I am, I'm a busy guy. I got things going on and I don't have time. I haven't had enough notice, they said, to get down to Atlanta to turn myself in for my mugshot and all that fun stuff. Hasn't had enough time. Fonnie Willis, the prosecutor, of course, who filed the charges against Mark Meadows, was not amused, not amused at all by his lawyer's motion that they filed in court. So Fonnie Willis fired back at the lawyer and said this in a letter to him. Good morning, Mr. Moran. I am not granting any extensions. I gave two weeks for people to surrender themselves to the court. Your client is no different than any other criminal defendant in this jurisdiction. The two weeks was a tremendous courtesy. At 12.30 PM on Friday, I shall file warrants in the system. My team has availability to meet to discuss reasonable consent bonds Wednesday and Thursday. Have a nice day. And if Meadows isn't here by 1230 on Friday afternoon, there's going to be a warrant issued for his arrest and we will have to come get him in handcuffs. We will put him in the back of a fricking police car and we will haul his ass down to the station because that's what would happen with any other criminal defendant and your client is no different. We don't care that he was a member of Congress. We don't care that he was the president's chief of staff. We don't care. A criminal defendant is a criminal defendant and we're not going to play favorites. We're not going to treat anybody with kid gloves. So get out of here with your stupid little filing like, oh, two weeks wasn't enough time. You realize we're talking about Atlanta, Georgia, right folks? Everybody's aware of what is in Atlanta, right? I'm assuming if you've ever flown on an airplane, you know the significance of Atlanta. That is Delta, the largest airline in the country, one of the largest on the planet, that's their hub. That's their main hub. You can get a straight flight to Atlanta on a Delta plane from almost anywhere in this country, especially if Meadows is in DC. I mean, I've made that flight from DC to Atlanta more times than I can count. It's a quick little two hour flight. He could have flown down in the morning, gone to his arraignment, flown back that afternoon. Just takes one day or maybe kick around in Atlanta a couple days, take, take in a Braves game. If you want, go to Cam Newton's cigar bar, Josh Norman's coffee shop, do whatever the hell you want, but you have ample opportunity. You have ample money to buy a plane ticket to Atlanta. And don't tell me you can't find a flight to Atlanta because any idiot with internet can find a flight to Atlanta. But one of the reasons <laughs> Meadows has uh, decided he doesn't want to show up by Friday at noon. And I do hope they arrest his ass. I hope he doesn't surrender by 1230 and they send the cops out looking for him. But he says, we're waiting for next week's hearing where I'm going to be in front of the judge explaining why my case should be moved from state court to federal court. Now Meadows may actually have a case for that, seeing as how he was in fact a paid government employee working on behalf of the president of the United States. But everybody else involved too is like, oh, I, I want to do that. I want to get my case moved. If you were not working for the federal government, the law that would even consider moving it does not apply to you. Like Rudy Giuliani is trying to do the same thing. He has no chance. Uh, same thing with the former Republican party chair in Georgia. He's like, I want to move mine. Dude, you are not a federal official. The law doesn't apply to you. It's, it's literally impossible for that to happen. But Meadows, like Donald Trump, is mad, right? We want special treatment. We want to be treated like we're better than anybody else who allegedly broke the law in the state of Georgia. We want whatever motion we filed to be granted. We want all these special requests given to us. That ain't how it works, folks. Welcome to Georgia. You're just like the other criminal defendants. Hey, everyone. This is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. 
We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh. not be so grumpy.